Hello everybody, Rush here again, Ali, I want to talk to you again, well today rather, about 80 fun things to do at home if you're bored and in self-quarantine, 80 fun things to do if you're at home and you're self-quarantined, you don't have to be at home bored stiff. There are things you can do to have fun with each other. All right. Let's get started. Number one, you can redecorate a room. You can Netflix binge. You can learn about essential oils. You can give yourself a facial. Or you can bake something to share with your neighbors. You can work on a scrapbook. Start a gratitude journal. Or just sit outside. You know, just sitting and watching the leaves blow in the wind in the trees. You can color code your bookshelf. You can create a vision board or just sit and read a magazine. You can turn on the Lifetime channel. How about cleaning your car? That's something you need to do. You haven't done it all week. It's just going out there and cleaning that car. You know that car is dirty. You can write emails to distant family members. You can light your favorite candles, turn up some music and clean the floors, make popcorn and watch a movie or play with your dog. Yeah, yeah I think Fido would like that. Why don't you play with him a while? Uh, you can paint and sip, take a bubble bath. You can start an Instagram page for your pet. Learn how to give a massage. Make a Kentucky Derby hat from scratch. You can learn the art of sugaring hair removal. You can zap a pimple overnight. Just call a friend. You know, what are, what are friends for if you can't call them when, you, when you're down and out? You can read tarot cards. Something I don't necessarily agree with. You can make origami, take a nap, write poetry, or start your novel. Yeah, just sit down and write about it. Write about the, 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 the problems you've had during this, these trying times. Or just write about anything that you, you, you like. You can create something for your SO, you could save your house, you could play video games, clean the refrigerator, redo the lighting in the room you spend the most time in, refresh yourself on astronomy, use your hand weights, that will help you get into shape, or make a terrarium, download an app you've been curious about. Learn an instrument. You could create a new Pinterest board, turn up the music, and dust your living room. Now that would be that would be fun, especially if you can't dance. You could build a fort, delete apps you don't use from your phone, or talk to your plants. When was the last time you talked to your plants? I don't think you've talked to them in a while. Or well, you could prep your meal for a week. Light incense and meditate. Turn the lights off and watch a scary movie. Ooh. You could color code your closet. Plan a fun weekend. Study a map. Or 
well just sit and stretch. Have a karaoke night. Yeah, you're bound to have some singers in the family, so that would be a fun thing to do. Invent your own recipe. I'm not saying everybody's going to eat it, but you can invent it, invent it anyway. Paint your nails. Organize your vitamin cabinet. Now, vitamins are a good good thing to have to keep up your strength or get up your strength or keep your uh, metabolism up, your body up during these times of illness. You can clean up your email inbox, sew something. You can collect items throughout your home to donate or practice singing. Try yoga. Make slime. Create a new special space for the family pet. Organize your bathroom cabinets. You can take an online class. Now that's not, that's educational. It would be fun too. You can watch YouTube tutorials. Something I do a lot. You can have a bonfire. Make a seasonal wreath. Dust off your outdoor space or cook something new. Hope it tastes good. You could start a blog, hang up a piece of art, make a bucket list, or just plain exercise. Get in shape. What better time than right now to just, just exercise it? Get in shape. Build up those flabby muscles, those flabby arms and that would be nice. Play board games. Or you could watch an entire season of a new show. You could play your favorite song on repeat until you know all of the words. There are so many things. There are plenty of things you could you could you could do. Uh, things to do in Minneapolis with kids or in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Save time and money with an at-home gel manicure. Just sit down and, and enjoy the time with, with one another. You know what? I got a feeling you would be you'd be glad you did and it it would pass the time and you wouldn't be thinking about all of the problems that this coronavirus, COVID-19, has, has brought you. Well, that will be it, it for today. I just thought I would, I would bring, it, bring these things to your attention. There's always something you can do to kind of brighten the day. So once again, I say bless you and... Everything will soon be looking up and over.